Testing for the coronavirus has been a major topic of concern since the pandemic began. Currently, there are two categories of tests, a viral test, which tells you if you have a current COVID infection, and an antibody test, which tells you if you might have had a previous infection. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about my experience getting a viral test. And before I go into details, it's really not that bad, I promise. A swab is placed up your nose, and yes, it's a bit uncomfortable, but it only lasts about 15 seconds, and then you're all done. Now, I was down in Texas and Louisiana reporting on Hurricane Laura. So once I arrived home, I wanted to make sure that I was indeed negative for the coronavirus before seeing my family. So over the course of two days, I got two separate tests just to be extra safe. The first test I got was a PCR test, which stands for polymerase chain reaction. This is the most common and reliable test, which detects disease by looking for the virus's genetic material. The swabs were then sent to a lab and two days later, I received my negative result. Now, I also got a rapid test, which promises results in 15 minutes. Yup, you heard that right, 15 minutes. This is the antigen test, which is a much simpler test and can get processed right in the doctor's office. So 20 minutes later, I was given my negative result. One thing to keep in mind, according to the CDC, these rapid tests are more likely to miss an active infection as opposed to the PCR test. And both tests have had some reports of false positives. Medical experts continue to say that the best way to prevent infection is to wash your hands regularly, cover those coughs and sneezes, and of course, to practice those social distancing guidelines.